and to witness his powers as for healing those who believe. Those I said something. Healing those that believe. Mm -hmm. He didn't heal everybody he, he touched. You know, there were some people came to him just, just to see what was going on. They weren't coming there to receive nothing. Some people come to church for other reasons. Saying the choir or whatever. But many few are coming to receive what they came to receive. All right. You got to bring anticipation to the church. Mm -hmm. You got to bring a need to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Before you believe in a need being met, you got to first bring a need to him mm -hmm. and watch to see don't he meet that need for that need of. You got to understand that he's on that skill piece that called he got power. He healed people who want to be what? Yeah. Healed. Now, he went to Capernaum. Why was it Capernaum? Because all of Jesus' ministry were in Capernaum. Mm -hmm. There were more people sick in Capernaum than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So he spent a lot of time in Capernaum healing those that are sick. And a certain centurion, amen, uh -huh. sir, who was still under him, was sick and ready to die. Mm -hmm. And when he heard of Jesus, when he heard of Jesus, listen, how many times a week do you tell somebody about Jesus? How many people have heard this week about Jesus? All right. From your mind. When he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy, he was worthy of whom he should do it. For he loved our nation. He had filled us in synagogue. Then Jesus went with him. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent free to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself. I am not worthy that I should, that, that, that thou should enter under my roof. Amen. Amen. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word. But say in a word. Hey. But say a word. Like, all right. And my servant shall be healed. healed. For I, I also am a man set on the door, having under me soldiers. Amen. And I say unto one, go and he goeth, and to another, come and he come. And to my servants, do this and he doeth that. Amen. 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 When Jesus heard these things, he, he marveled at him and turned him about mm -hmm. and, 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 and said unto the people that follow him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent returning to the house found the servant. Oh, you want to serve? Oh, and serve. Oh, oh. And then then sick. sick. Hallelujah. But you got to understand something. Look, look at all these things. Look at all these at the verb that was going on. Sin. Sin for Jesus. Heard about Jesus. Talked about Jesus. Believed in Jesus, knew what they were in Jesus, mm -hmm. knew that they weren't worthy of what he was doing, but he done it for them anyway. Yes, sir. See, 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 I think what's happening to the, the church today, the last day, is we are being, we are being deceived by the enemy. We want to be everything God said, but we don't want to do it like he said do it. We don't want to follow instructions. We don't want to. Follow the criteria 
for healing. We want to follow this, these, these criteria for believing. We want to ask for prayer, but we want to do it like we want to do it. But when you talk about being a child of God, when you talk about Jesus, you only can do it one way, yes. and that is his way. Right. You have to do it his way. You have to trust him only. You have to believe in him only. You have to serve him only. You have to exalt him only. He's the only thing you need in whatever situation you're in. Ready? Try that sometimes. Stop, stop trying to be a Christian by doing it your way. Right. We have to find out what way is the way of Christ. Mm -hmm. Read the Bible and tell you exactly how to come up to him all that are heavy laden, all that are laid. And he said, I give you, you rest. He didn't say you had to get rest. He said, I will give you rest. Take up on yourself, my yoke, and learn from me. For my way easy and your burden are light. So he, he was trying to tell us that in order to have what he has for us, we have to come to him his way. Praise the Lord. We have to come to him. This young man was sick and his and his and his and his uh, centurion put with a Roman soldier. They he loved this young man, but he was a great friend of his. And he heard now the Romans was the enemy to the Jews. But when this Roman heard about Jesus and all the things that he had done in, in the wilderness out there among the, the people, he heard about this man, Jesus. So he decided he gonna send for Jesus himself. And he gonna have Jesus go to his seventh house and heal him. Amen. Amen. So, so as y'all saying, well, uh, I, I don't like Jesus. But he has what I need. He has what I need. And yeah, you go know, somewhere and say, I, I don't like uh, Brother Wilson, but he has what I need. So I'm going there to show my, my interest in him because he has something that I need. Well, when you look at the way we are in church now, somebody is not even talking about Jesus. We are even giving him the, the, the recognition by saying, I know a man mm -hmm. that can save any man, that can change any man. Mm -hmm. Because I met him one day on my road right. uh, when I was not able to get away. Yeah. And someone told me about a man named Jesus. And now I didn't know that man, but I knew that I needed to be healed. Yeah. I knew that I could not help myself. Mm -hmm. So when I began to think about who this man was, I sent I sent somebody uh, to invite him to my house mm -hmm. uh, to do for me what I needed done for me. But when I realized that I was unworthy, I tried to talk him out of coming mm -hmm. because I said that my house was unclean. I was not a very good person. But one thing I learned about Dr. Jesus, <laughs> you don't have to be a good person no, no. to sin for him to come visit yeah. you. You have to be a perfect person to get him to come and pay a little attention to you. Yes, you don't have to be a rich person yeah. to get him to come to your house. All you got to be is a person that needs his attention. Wow. All you got to be a person that knows that you cannot do without Jesus. A person that cannot save themselves but needs somebody with all power to yes. save their life. Yes, we talk about a man named Jesus. Some of you are sitting and going to doctor, but let me yeah. tell you about a doctor that you go to one time. Woo. One time. One time. You gotta keep going every month. No, no. Keep going good. Keep paying money every month. One time is enough. This Jesus has everything you need. in the palm of his hand. Yeah. Someone said he got everything in his in the tail of his tongue. Yeah. He got everything in just what he said. Yes, he yes. said, peace unto you. 
And all of a sudden, we have peace in our lives. Yeah. See, you ain't got to worry about being in part in Jesus. No. Mm -hmm. Just know him. Yeah, know him. Yeah. Know him. Yeah, yeah. Stop saying you know him, but get to know him. Stop acting like you know him, but get to know him. Yeah. You can't act like you know Jesus. No, man. You can't just say I know him. You got to know him. And he has got to know you. That's how he works. He won't be a person of God. Not someone you know like in this man. Dale Sales and Jeff Perry. You know all of him. But when, how much do you know Jesus? Do you talk about him every day? Do you tell your neighbors about him? Do you tell your friends about him? At work, do you stand in the lunch room and talk about the goodness of God? Or you talking about the, the job so much you can't even think about who they really gave you the job. You gotta go and think about you gotta go and act like you know this man. Make him the biggest thing in your life. Exalt him. Praise him for being who he is. Oh, yeah. Invite your kids to know him. Mm -hmm. Make sure they pray every day before they go to school. Make sure they read that you say go you can't need to try to make our kids be small. I don't want them to be smart. Go to that, go back study. What am I smart in this? That's right. Why are you trying to make them be smart in this? Yes. Why are you trying to make them learn the scripture? Mm -hmm. And tell you the scripture every day. Why are you trying to sell give them to Jesus like right now? See? The, the, the devil's gonna sell them. He's gonna make them make them know all the ladies tunes, all the lady dances, mm -hmm. all the lady cuss words. He gonna make them learn that. They'll learn that without you teaching them. They're not to the stinky leg, the black dog, the sloppy dog, the bad potato. All that, they, they're learning that not from you. They're learning from their friends. Why not teach them how to tell their friends? I know a man named Jesus. Let me tell you something about the man I know. Let them be leaders in the community. Let that young man know something about Jesus. So we get around his little friend who say, let go, let go steal a car. Like I was tempted that night. I didn't want to say no. Because I knew about it. I knew something about what one of my grandparents told me about my skin. So when they said let's go steal the car, I knew maybe how to make a decision to not do that. See? Why? Because someone took time to teach me how not to steal, lie, and cheat. And that's my parents. Then now they taught me that I've been in penitentiary. I was with him with an old friend of mine and got in trouble that night. That like most of our young people do it right now. Find the crowd, getting in trouble. Yeah. Not knowing how to make decisions. I've been taught by the parents to stand on what's right. You stop trying to be these things in your own way. Start trying to invest in our lives. Teach these kids how to read the Bible. See? Teach them how to do that. Then they'll, they'll learn in time how to be men and women of God and know how to say no yeah. to things that they need, they need to say no to. How to not be a father but be a leader. Lead me and not follow me. So he said, and they were sent returning to the house on the servant house and the man was he. When they got there, when they got to the house, they didn't find no him right there. They didn't find no, no hearse there. They didn't find nobody crying and hollering. They found a man that had been healed. Mm -hmm. And they rejoiced yeah, hallelujah. at the fact that this man was once sick. <laughs> and just on the name of Jesus, All right. just on the name of Jesus, this man that was sick is now healed. They pray for them. Yeah, yes, sir. Somebody go to the doctor and the doctor give us some stuff for our medicine and we get healed and we never come home and thank God for it. Amen. We pray to the doctor. We tell them about how to the doctor we had. But what if I said that the doctor had a better doctor? The doctor showed him how to doctor. Yes, sir. And he doctored me. According to the doctor, his doctor instruction, and now I'm here because his doctor knew what he didn't know and gave me what I knew through him. 
So the doctor who is my doctor has a doctor. His name is Dr. Jesus. Amen. And when he gets not do, his doctor is there. Everybody the body. Look at it. That's why I understand why people stay sick so long. Why are you sick all your long? Why are you sick? Your doctor got his own name. All right. In this manual is everything you need to know about him. Faith. Woman, thou faith has made you whole. Not medicine, not kindness, not generosity. Faith. Your faith yeah. in God mm -hmm. will heal you once and for all. Mm -hmm. Your faith. You know, I have never seen somebody faith in all this. Why? Because the people in that this town was talking by Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were studying Jesus. They were passing word on about Jesus. All right. And people were getting healed like this. Yeah. Heal like this. Be sick one day, heal the same day. Mm -hmm. Just on the name of Jesus. Yeah. Here we are. We, we're going to buy just sick as Christians. We're sick because we don't know how to trust God for our healing. We don't know how to do that. We're going to trust the man. You'll trust somebody. Yeah. But trust the person who sent to somebody too. His name is Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. So today you have a bold faith. Be bold. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody, Amen. I'm here. I, I haven't even heard this in a long time. We used to say, uh, just say I'm here in Jesus' name. We, we can't even get you to say that now. <laughs> we, we don't even know I'm healing, but we, we don't believe it. But when you start believing, you say, I'm healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. By his strength. You got to you got to believe it for yes, by his stripes. I have been healed already. All right. He he paid the price yes, for my healing. Yes, sir. He took it on himself. Thirty nine lashes yes. with, with with bones and nails. He just brought his back just to heal me. All right. So why should I not say yes. I'm healed in the name of Jesus? He paid the cost yes. for my healing. He will be down. Yes. That's what we are walking around, held and healed. But you got to have faith. Got mm -hmm. to believe God. Lord. You can't be ashamed to tell the world who your God is. All right. Even when they're in the hospital, you still got to say, I'm healed Jesus. in Jesus' name. Right. Well, he don't heal you on your time. Amen. He healed you on his time. You might be in the hospital two months, but you're still healed in Jesus' name. May I ever get healed, but you're still healed in Jesus' name. You'll go to the grave and say, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. See? When you learn what, what church is, it ain't about a lot of folks that are saying it. It's about knowing the truth about a man that is worth knowing. I was saying this morning, I don't care how many folks leave my even. I don't care how many come. I don't care. But I do know when they come in these doors, they will be talking about a man named Jesus. I don't care what else they say. They know I say. I didn't know the name of Jesus. You're going to learn about Jesus then. Uh -huh. And you're going to see a pastor that's trying to operate that in his living. All right. So you have to understand something. We know that in these days that the devil won't win more than we do. Yes. But we're going to win the war. Come on, we're going to win the war. Yeah, we might have a few, but we're going to win this thing. Like, yeah. Everybody ain't told Gideon, you got too many. Right. Teach. Hold it. Yes, Lord. You got too many yes. people. Mm -hmm. Tell them home. They ain't here for the right reason. Mm -hmm. 32,000 men. They sent 22,000 away the first time they took. 22 left, 22,000 left. That was 9,000 men. When they got through cut sending them home, they only had 300 soldiers. Trying to get 42,000 warriors. 
And Gideon said to the Lord, Lord, how in the world do you expect us to win the war with just these three people? Mm -hmm. He said, you know what? The reason why I sent them all home because I want you to understand this. If you have to have a win the war with them 13,000 men and beat them, you would say that we done that. Mm -hmm. okay. But when I left you with 300 men against 42,000, you know yeah, you know. Who done? You know who done? Right. Yes, sir. The God you serve yes. done that. Yes, sir. Sometimes we have to have that many more. Not even you all be proud to be that many people who know Jesus. All right. Yeah. Y'all be proud to stand there and say, "And we know Jesus, our church, and that's all I gotta say about it." All right. When they ask your name, you say, "My name is Paul." <laughs> What's your name? My name is Mars. What's your name? My name is Mars. Because there are no fear in being a sponsor. All right, all right. Now he will not. What's your name? Now he will not. I belong to a church song. Now he's not what we know about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we practice. Living that life, yeah. talking that talk, walking that walk. Yes, we teach our children how to stand up and be warriors of, of, of church. We teach them how to be students of church. We 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 been our whole life on trying to make sure everybody who's a Mount Ebonite is the best Mount Ebonite ever. Mm -hmm. All right. Ain't no fear in this year. Mm -hmm. Ain't no fear in this year. That's right. That's right. That's right. We. Talk the talk. And we definitely walk the walk. We must tell the world that we are believers of Jesus. And we, we try him on a daily basis to see that he works. And there ain't never been a time when we tried him in this church that he didn't work Woo! on our behalf. Yeah. Yeah. Not one time. Yeah. Not ever. I can't, you can't remember times, not one year, that God did not bring us through. Never had a lot of nothing. No people, no money, nothing. But God is always. Always. He would walk away. He stand with us. Yes, sir. Never forsake us. He promised us, I'll never leave you. No. No, I'm not forsake you. And you, have to, you have to stand with that promise. And all you have is God's word. And God's word is that in heaven and in earth. So we stand on God's word. We know we, we are not popular, but we are popular in God outside. That's all right. He keep us folks. He keep us living decent lives. Yeah. We don't have a lot. We don't have women that live with anything out there. You know what I mean? We have, we have values in our lives. All right. We live a certain dignity about ourselves. We got perfect. Right. But we honor God. Amen. We honor God. That's all God requires. David, why is it that you went to heaven commit all the sin that you committed? Why, David? You commit adultery. Mm -hmm. You had a you had your, a, a woman to hug and kill. Mm. You had a, a baby by a woman that wasn't your wife. Mm -hmm. Why, David, did you go to hell? He said because he said because David understood one day. He knew how to confess Amen. his sin. Right. Oh, yeah. And God said, "I will faithful, and I will judge yeah. to forgive his sin and cleanse him." Oh, oh, all right. Right. Yeah, we gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Now even we gonna fall. All right, let's go. You don't make mistakes. Yes. But don't beat yourself down. Yes, Lord. Just look up. Look up. Toward heaven. And say, Father, forgive me. Mm -hmm. I sinned against you. Yes. And watch. Don't he show compassion? Not judge, not judgment, but compassion. And say to you, I forgive your sins. 
Thank you. Because you confess me. And I say, if you confess me, I will forgive you. Amen. 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 Amen.